Hey everyone, I hope you're well. I wanted to talk about stocks today because there's lots of misconceptions about what they are, what they do and how exactly they work. By watching this video, you'll learn tips to equip your weapons faster and more useful details that nobody has ever really talked about. Thanks to the firing range, I found some interesting things. I found some stats that show that if you put your stock on the right weapon, you could be saving a lot of time and actually the right weapon is usually not what you think it will be. So this could potentially save you in tense fights where every second counts. So let's talk about it. Both sniper and standard stocks serve two functions to reduce aim drift and to improve handling speed. Aim drift simply means how much your aim moves as you stay still whilst aiming down sights. It's to simulate breathing. With bigger weapons and higher magnification scopes, there's more aim drift, so stocks can reduce that. Stocks also improve handling speed. This simply means how fast it is to switch that weapon. Weapon. First, let's look at handling speed because the biggest misconception lies there. I will be testing how stocks change, how weapons are equipped and unequipped. To calculate this, I started a timer from the frame the UI switched to the weapon to the frame we were able to fire. First, we had to test the stats with no attachments to get a base. I used full auto weapons, that way I could fire as soon as it was ready and there was no discrepancies with when I was clicking the mouse. I held it down as soon as I could. In the stats, I found that actually the equip time isn't based on what weapon you are equipping, but the weapon you are equipping to. For example, switching from an R301 to an R99 takes 0.43 seconds. This is longer than the 0.36 seconds it takes to switch to an R301 from an R99. There's a common misconception that smaller weapons have faster equip speeds. It's sort of true, but actually it's more like this. Smaller weapons have faster unequip speeds. This means it's faster to switch from an R99 to a Kraber than it is to switch from a Kraber to an R99. So straight away, we've learned something. If milliseconds matter, then it actually makes sense to start with your heavier weapons first and then use your lighter weapons as a backup. We really are talking milliseconds seconds here though. So this brings us to the next question. What should the best stock go on? For example, if we have a purple stock, should we put it on the SMG or the assault rifle? This is an important question because the switch time is reduced for both weapons. So in my tests, I found something quite strange. So first, here are the swap time for no attachments. Now, if you put a stock on the R301, you're getting a 13.88% time reduction when switching to the R301. Yet switching to the R99 has an easy even larger 16.27% reduction. This is because we are reducing the unequipped time of the R301 by putting the purple stock on the R301. Remember, we're talking about unequipped times here, not equip times. Now, if we put the stock on the R99, you are getting a 6.97% time reduction when switching to the R99. Yet, when switching to the R301, you get a 13.88% reduction. These may seem very confusing, but let me keep explaining and you'll understand. So, so far, we found that putting the purple stock on the R301, the larger weapon, gives us more of a reduction in time to equip both weapons. This makes sense in a weird way. There are two timers, an unequipped timer and an equipped timer. These stocks reduce the unequipped time. So by putting a stock on the heavier weapon, you're taking the same percentage of a larger timer, which means you save more time. We can prove this further by comparing the equip times of a Devotion and an R99 when alternating which weapon has the stock. If my theory is true, a Devotion unequipped timer should be very big, so adding a stock to it instead of the R99 will see an even bigger time saving than the R301 and R99 switch. Let me clarify, it will take longer to switch from a Devotion to an R99 than it will to switch from an R301 to an R99, but the time saving with the stock on the Devotion will be far larger. So the point I'm making here is if you put the stock on the lighter weapon when you have something like an LMG, you're going to be losing a lot of time when switching weapons. As we can see with the tests here, the results are very impressive. If you put the purple stock on the Devotion, you get a huge 18.75% time reduction when switching to the R99, and a decent 14.28% time reduction when switching to the Devotion. 
However, with the stock on the R99, time reduction is almost non-existent. In fact, take a look at the stats here for yourself. There's only a 6.25% reduction when switching to the R99 and a tiny 2% time reduction when switching back to the Devotion. Imagine all this time the entire community has been fooled that putting a purple stock on the R99 will help to speed up the time to equip it, but actually it's completely wrong. I mean, a stock on an R99 will help, of course, but if you put the better stock on your heavier weapon, you'll save so much more time. It doesn't even matter if you're switching from the Devotion to the R99 or the other way around. The time reduction is still improved massively when the stock is on the heavier weapon. So to summarize, you should always prioritize putting your stock on your heavier weapon. And you should also try to prioritize using your heavier weapon first and then switching to the lighter weapon. If you have the opportunity, you can even save more time by equipping weapons from your fists. That way you are cutting out the unequip animation of your other weapon entirely. It's the unequip animation that takes the most time. So an alternative option could be that you still put the purple stock on say your R99, but you just walk around with your fists and then pull it out when you need to. But the downside to this is when you run out of ammo, definitely gonna be quicker to reload than it is to switch to the devotion with no stock. Now, we've talked about weapon handling, but stocks also serve another purpose, to reduce aim drift. Thankfully, the functionality is once again weighted towards providing more support for heavier weapons, so let's take a quick look at that. So aim drift doesn't change your recoil or your horizontal recoil in any way, all it does is change how much sway there is. So on something like an R99, it's almost non-existent. You can see it here, but you're never really going to see the benefit for aim drift on an SMG. However, on a sniper, there's a massive difference. The aim drift is reduced quite considerably, and in fact, hitting long range shots without a sniper stock is surprisingly difficult. Look at how much drift there is. There is also a lot of aim drift on assault rifles, especially when you have longer range scopes. You can't put standard stocks on snipers though, so once again it makes more sense to put your stock on the assault rifles or LMGs to reduce aim drift because that's where it matters most. So in summary, what have we learned today? Well, contrary to what makes sense, these stocks help to reduce unequip time far more than equip time, which means you will save far more time when placing your higher level stocks on your heavier weapons. Although if you really want to save time, you could put your stock on your lighter weapon still and then engage with your fists out. That way you can pull up your weapon and skip the unequipped time from the other weapon entirely. On top of that, stocks help with aim drift, but lighter weapons don't have much and you're never really going to use them at a distance where it becomes noticeable. So that's another reason for prioritizing your stocks on assault rifles and LMGs instead. Thank you to everybody that has watched this far. It may just seem like a bunch of stats, but I think a lot of you are probably curious to know, and this is really useful information for me. I'm quite surprised at what I found. So that's it, I'll be back tomorrow. If you didn't know already, I have a Twitch, so come follow me on Twitch if you want to watch me live, or you can catch the highlights on my gaming channel. Links are in the description. Let me know what you'd like me to test next and what kind of videos you'd like me to make next too. I'll see you in the comments. Cheerio.